Welcome to another edition of the Seat Shop video installation series. Today we're going to be turning into a 1997 Ford Expedition driver seat bottom. This is the XLT for Ford Expedition. Uh, Hunter's going to walk you through all the tools that are necessary to, uh, to get this cover changed. Alright, we just got a few standard tools that should be in most garages. Um, a couple of screwdrivers, a flathead and a Phillips. Uh, we use a pry tool here as well. It kind of just makes things a little easier. We got a pair of hog ring pliers which again can be used with um, with needle nose pliers. Got a pair of wire snips right here and a 10 millimeter socket and a 13 millimeter socket. And uh, Brian, let's go ahead and get started. Let's get going. All right, the first step you want to do is uh, to remove this plastic panel here on the side of the seat. Go ahead and take a uh, Phillips head screwdriver and remove this the handle right there. Next, you're going to want to remove this knob. This knob is not held on by any sort of clip or anything, it's just simply snapped on there, but it can be very tight to get off. The easiest way i found to do this is take a, a flathead screwdriver and a pry tool. If you don't have a pry tool, don't worry about it, take two flathead screwdrivers. You're going to want to get in there, you'll be able to see the end of the black where that knob's, knob ends, and just get two screwdrivers about 180 degrees apart. You want to pop that off like that. It's going to be very tight on there, but but there's no special clip. It just pops on there. You'll see a, another Phillips head screw behind that. One behind the the back adjustment. In the back of the seat, there's going to be a plastic tab right here. Flathead screwdriver, pry tool. Just go ahead and work that out. Flip the seat on its back, and there's going to be two more Phillips head screw screws right there. And the last thing while we're under, up under here is this electrical clip right here that works the power controls on the side. This one, it does help to have an extra set of hands while doing that. Reason being, there's two clips, one on each side of it. And both have to be pulled apart so the quick connect will come undone. So when one person's holding one of the clips, the other person can pry the other side apart. That way it'll, the, the uh, piece will come, you'll be able to pull the center piece out. You can get a close up, Matt, as you can see. You get a tab on this side and on this side that they clip onto here. So you can both both of those can be separated so it'll come loose. Once you got that clip undone, you'll be able to just uh, pull this plastic panel off and feed that wire out through the side of the seat. All right, your next step is going to be to go ahead and disconnect all the remaining power clips underneath. Brian's going to show you that right now. Now there's every seat can be a little bit different depending on the different power options you got. This one here just simply got one more connection we need to undo. We're also going to take this one off here. If your seat happens to have more than just these, these two simple connections, it's all right, don't panic. Just make sure you got them all undone because there can be a couple different variations. We're going to go ahead and pull these off here. Actually, that tab pulls out. All right, and while he's doing that, I'm going to show you, you're going to need to remove this post right here that that lumbar knob was attached to. There's just two silver Phillips head screws. Take those two screws out, and you'll be able to pull on that cable and pull that knob. We'll show you how to separate that here in just a second. Now, once we get the seat frame off, we'll be able to see a good close-up shot of that lumbar piece. We can show you how to, that comes apart. This is the uh, your 10 millimeter. You're going to get these four bolts off. There you go. Now, a trick to help you get to these bolts a lot easier when you're taking the truck out of the via, the, the seat out of the out of the truck. Go ahead and trim the seat all the way up and move the, and move the seat towards the middle. So it's not all the way forward, it's not all the way to the back and the seat pan is raised up as high as it can. That way it helps you get, get you a little more separation to be able to get your socket into these to the bolts on the back there. All right, now we're going to pull the frame through. Now the second clip that I did was this, which runs to your seat belt. 
this will result this needs to feed through the side of the frame and come out so that you can remove the whole bottom frame off the seat okay there we go just gonna set this to the side all right and here's that lumbar cable and that knob adjuster that I that I uh, disconnected just a second ago. We're going to need to disconnect the cable from this because this is going to have to feed through the frame on the bottom of the seat. To do that, go ahead and lower the lumbar all the way in the down position. Take your hand like that, pop that off, and pull the cable out. All right, we're going to go ahead and flip this seat up. And the next step is dis, uh, attaching the top from the bottom. To do that, You'll take your 13 millimeter socket, and there's two bolts right here on the hinge piece. All right, now the other, only other part connecting the seat top to the bottom is there's a peg, steel peg, that's part of the seat bottom that goes through. Uh, a part of the seat top, so you got a, a peg with a hole through it. So I'll, we'll get a good close-up shot of that. We're going to pry these apart. Take your flathead screwdriver, and you can get down in here and you can pop. Let's see here. Yep. Yep. Throw it back this way. There it is. All right, there we go. Now you can see that the uh, this is where the cable for the lumbar feeds through as well. We're gonna pull that through. Hold the seat top there. Yep. Are you there? And you can see the peg right there. And that goes through, that's going through this hole right there. So that peg goes through right there. That's what you're separating there. All right, now we got them pulled apart. We're going to set the top over to the side. We'll go ahead and get to taking the leather off the frame. This part's pretty simple. All you're going to need is the flathead screwdriver, the snips, and a pair of needle nose. Go ahead and flip the seat over. There's just four basic clips holding the, holding the cover onto the frame. Take you a flathead screwdriver. Now be real careful, this metal rim around the inside can be pretty sharp. You can cut your hands up pretty good on that. So go ahead and make sure you use your, your flathead to pull these clips off. All right, now that those are off, we're gonna start to Get the leather back a corner at a time. Now you don't want to rip it all just completely off because the cover is anchored onto the foam. So you want to get all the corners pulled up first and then we'll get to where it anchors on. Okay, this particular model actually is held on with hog rings. It's a little metal ring that hooks it onto the frame. Take your snips here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. You can see the hog ring here, there, there, and on around, all the way around the whole rim there. But you need to go ahead and take your snips and cut those rings off. Now is when you're needing those, hand, needing those pliers come in handy. You can get in there and help get all the little fragments out. Plus help get the ring completely off once it's been cut.
now we've got the cover free now you can see on the underside of the cover there's this cord this ring here that's what matches up with this in that ring there's going to be a metal bar that runs through it that's what the hog ring anchors onto it'll hold onto that bar and so it can anchor onto these points now the new cover is either going to have a plastic rim around it or if it doesn't have that you'll have a new use the existing your old uh, metal wire from your factory cover and slide it into the pocket of the new cover that we're going to send to you. So we're going to pull this, pull this out. Okay, we got the metal wire transferred over from the stock cover onto the new cover. That's the wire that runs throughout this little fabric loop here. That's what lets you to lets the hog ring grasp on to the uh, to the foam cushion. Uh, that's all the time we got for segment one. Stay tuned for segment two of the 97 through 99 Ford Expedition install video. We're going to go ahead and get the rest of the uh, cover installed on the seat. Thanks for visiting our website. And if there's any other questions that we can answer for you, please don't hesitate to call us 214-710-2565.